Welcome back to another video and today we're actually going to be doing my most recommended video of all and that's how to download and install Kali Linux. My host operating system, I do run Windows 10, but I run Kali Linux through VirtualBox. You can use um, VMware also, but I find that VirtualBox is the easier route, the better route. Um, I do have both though as you can see for certain instances, but I always run VirtualBox when I can. So since I'm running Windows, I'm going to want to download the Windows package right here. And you're just going to need to go through it all and just click install, install, install. And then it's actually going to come up after you click install and it's installing it. It's going to come up with a pop-up that says you want to install this extra device software. And from what I found is you have to click yes. If you click no, then you won't be able to run Kali Linux, which isn't good. So just click yes. It only takes an extra second or two. Um, and then once all that's installed, you're going to want to download Kali Linux. So yeah, um, for VirtualBox, the way I do it is I use the pre-made ones on the Offensive Security download page. It's definitely the easier route, the more dependable route. Um, definitely recommend it. And so as you can see, if you're using VMware, you're going to want to download from this list right here. But we're using VirtualBox, so we're going to want to download the 64-bit Kali Linux VBox. I already have it downloaded. It does take, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes depending on your internet, so it will take a little bit of time. But I already have it downloaded here and I saved it to my desktop. So what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to open it up with a virtual box. And as you can see, it comes up with all these preset settings. And what I recommend is just don't change any of it and just import it right then as it is. Because um, you can always go back and change it to any information you want, and we are going to change some information. But just to get it onto your virtual box, I definitely recommend just leaving it how it is. And I'll get back to you guys when this is done importing. So now that it's fully installed down here at the bottom, you can see that on the left hand side I have all my different virtual boxes, but the one we just installed was the Kali Linux 2018 one. So to start off, we want to open up the settings. And in settings, you can change the name to anything you want. I'm just going to leave it how it is for now. But as you can see, my main one I just call Kali 2017. So it's definitely useful to rename them, especially once you um, have multiple boxes on there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to description and as you can see the username is root and the password is tor. So when you start it up for the first time that's what you're going to have to put in as your information. So everything should not need to be touched at all except when you go to NAT. I have mine as an NAT network so I recommend doing that if you want to have access to the internet. And the other thing is when you download VirtualBox you may need a USB extension pack which is really simple to do if you need it it'll just pop up as an error you need the extension pack then all you have to do is go online look it up download it and it automatically goes into VirtualBox it's really easy so now that we have everything that we want set up correctly we can boot up the virtual machine so all you have to do is click start and it will start up automatically So now that it's booted up, we come to a username prompt. And like I said, the username is going to be root and the password is going to be tor. So now you can see that Kali Linux is properly running on the machine. And to check if you have internet access, um, all you have to do is type in ifconfig. And as you can see, it should come up with an inet address. So as you can see, I do have internet and I'm on the internal IP address of 10.0.2.4. So the first thing I recommend doing when you get into Kali Linux is changing the assigned password for it. And the way you do that is you're just going to type in password. You're going to want to type in the new password you're going to want to do. So I'll just do that. And now you can see, type it in twice and your password is updated successfully. So moving forward, that will be your password to sign in as the root account. And thanks for watching. This is just how to download and install Kali Linux. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for a new video coming soon. Thanks for watching.